In this Photoshop tutorial, I'm going to show you how to remove anything from a photograph. Now, this could be from power lines to braces on teeth to people and more. Let's get started. Hey, Cafe Crew, Colin Smith here from PhotoshopCafe.com. And today I'm going to show you several different techniques for removing things in photographs. We're going to get rid of braces on teeth. We're going to get rid of power lines and we're going to remove people. Now, there's going to be a number of different techniques in these tutorials. So pay attention to these techniques and also be flexible that you can use these to remove anything from a photograph. And by the way, if you're new to this channel, I do a new Photoshop tutorial every single week. So consider hitting the subscribe button right now. And also a lot of the tutorials that I do, there's also a written component on the Photoshop Cafe website. And generally speaking, I'll put a link underneath where you can go in there and check that out too. So let's get started with technique number one. In this case, I don't know if you've ever done any corporate work, but there's always somebody that leaves the company right after the photo has been taken for say the annual report. And in this case, this guy here is no longer with the company. We need to get rid of him. So what do we do? Do we schedule another shoot or do we get rid of him in Photoshop? Obviously it's pretty simple. We're going to be getting rid of him in Photoshop. Uh, spoiler alert. Okay. So this is how I'm going to do it. We're going to grab the lasso tool. First thing we want to do is just kind of create a clean area behind him. Okay. Let's start with the quick selection tool and we're just going to make a selection around our worker that is no longer at the company. Of course, this also works just as well for exes. Uh, you know, for those beautiful holiday photos that you want to keep the photo, but you don't want that person. Same technique. All right, so we've selected him. And what we want to do is we want to get rid of him. But before we do, I want to put it on a new layer. All right, so we're going to duplicate the layer. So drag it in there and notice we've got a copy and I always like to have a nice clean copy behind. And what we want to do now is we want to get rid of our person. So we're just going to use content aware file, shift delete, and that's shift backspace on windows opens up the fill dialog box. Now go and choose content aware. Content aware is now active and we're just going to click OK. And we'll see how it looks. All right, not a bad starting place. Well, <laughs> maybe not. All right, so we've got some other ways we can do this. Let's go here and we're going to choose to edit. We're going to go down to content aware fill. And what we can do is hit the space bar to move across. And we want to remove these people from the selection. So it just shows the background. Make sure you grab this masking tool. And then we're just going to paint over the people because we don't want them to be included in our sample. So it's just as simple as grabbing them. And let's just paint over our other person. And then you can look in the preview here and this will update and see how it's looking a lot cleaner now. Looks like I really want to go just a little bit wider with him. So why don't we grab our lasso tool here? And what I can do is I can actually just go here and increase the area around him. So we want to just go around his head. Let's select all of that. And notice how it updates in the preview. Same thing down here. Let's go down there and we're going to select a larger area. Oh, drawing a little wonky here, but that's okay. And looking in here, see how that updates now. And we can see we're doing a lot better. Let's make sure we just increase the area on the side there. And that should update looking good. Maybe a little bit more. Notice how this is appearing and this is coming from the floor. So why don't we also go in there? I'm just going to hit the space bar and I'm going to grab in here. And by the way, what I did there is I just did fit to screen and this can just save a little bit of time. And because we don't want that, that panel at the bottom there. See, now that removes, it looks a lot better yeah, There's a problem there, but don't worry about that. So we're good. We're going to click OK to apply our content aware fill control D to deselect. All right, so we want to just kind of move these people over now. So what we're going to do is just select both of these layers. And then we're going to hit Control E. And then what it's doing is it's essentially giving us one copy with the clean and one copy there. So what we're going to do now is we're going to select our people. 
So let's just grab our lasso tool and let's make a selection around them and make sure we go down over her area here nicely. Select that bottom. And now what we want to do is move them over. And we're going to choose content aware move. Now we're just going to click and drag over. I'm going to say overlapping her arm just a little bit there. Maybe about there. Release. And then hit enter to apply. Okay, so two things happened there. One, it blended this into the new area and then it used content aware fill to clean up the area that we came out of. And you can see it's not bad, but there's a little bit of work that needs to be done there. And, you know, for this last little bit, there's different ways we could do it. You know, we could just copy a selection or we could use the clone stamp tool, maybe create a new layer. Go in here, grab our clone stamp tool and make sure current and below is set. Alter option key to kind of sample that floorboard, move over. So we see it's lined up nicely, tap. And now we just paint with the clean area. See that? There we go. And this area here with this couple of little artifacts, you can use a little content aware and a little clone just to clean it up. So here's a shot from Las Vegas. And you've seen this sign many times before, but maybe you didn't realize all these power lines were there. Well, fortunately, I've got a great technique to get rid of these really quickly. What we're going to do is we're going to create a new layer. Then we're going to go down and we're going to grab our spot healing brush tool. Now make sure with the new layer selected, we turn on sample all layers. Now just use the left bracket key to get that brush nice and small. And all we're going to do is click once, release. Now hold the shift key, move to the very end of that power line, tap again, creates a straight line, and it gets rid of the power lines. Let's do it again. Tap, release, hold shift, click power lines. Simple as that. Now what you don't want to do though is hit the shift key first and then click because then it creates that line across there as you can see. So make sure you tap, release, hit shift, click. Once again, tap, release, hold shift, click. And if you miss a bit, no big deal. Just tap, release, shift, I know I'm being very repetitive, but it's really important that you remember that proper sequence. Otherwise, you get that line drawn there. And it's as simple as that to get rid of straight lines, such as power lines, out of photos. All right, let's move on to our third technique. Let's look at how do we get rid of braces inside of a photograph. Hit Control or Command 1, and that will bring you into 100% view, which is the best view for doing most retouching. You want to be in nice and close, but you also want to see the pixels nice and true. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to select the Brush tool. And whenever you do retouching, you want to create a new layer. And then that means if we mess it up, we can always just mask it out. All right, what we're going to do is we're just actually going to paint over here. Now, we could use a clone stamp tool or we could use content aware, but that's going to give us kind of blotchy results. In this case, there's not a lot of detail in teeth. So one of the most accurate ways of doing it, believe it or not, is to just sample the colors and paint. And I'll demonstrate. Hit the Alt or the Option key, tap once, and you'll see we now sample that color. And then we can just paint it in. So let's see how we're doing that. Let's go from the top here. And all we're doing is just simply painting in with the color of that too. Now, a couple of things here. Notice it's a little bit blotchy. What you want to do is go up here. Make sure that the hardness is turned all the way down. You want a nice soft brush. And in this case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make the brush a little bit bigger. I'm going to hit the Alt or the Option key. And now I'm going to just kind of paint in there. Now, if you want to blend it in, we could drop the opacity down a little bit and tap the two key. And this is how you kind of blend two sides in. Select that color and now start to paint with a 20% opacity. Grab the other side and start to paint for 20% opacity. And notice how now we're able to just kind of start to blend these in nicely. And then you would just do the same thing here. Let's make a small brush. I'm going to hit Alt or Option. And then we're just going to sample. Now make sure we turn our opacity all the way back to 100 which is just tapping the zero key. And now we're just going to go in here and see what we're doing. We're just painting back in here now. Just sampling these colors. And then once again, drop your opacity down to 20% and 
and we're just gonna grab the outside area and just start to blend that in. See that? And down here, grab 20%, start to blend it in. And eventually you're gonna nicely blend in those teeth. Okay, you can see there the technique's pretty simple. All you're gonna do is repeat this for every single tooth and you're gonna be done. All right, I'm really curious, was there any new techniques you learned in this tutorial? If so, let us know in the comments underneath what you learned new in this tutorial, and also let me know what you'd love to see in future tutorials. Anyway, if you like this, smash the like button into dust. And also, if you're not part of the cafe crew yet, hit the subscribe button right now and you'll get a new tutorial from me every single week. Ring the notification bell so you know when I upload it, which is every single Tuesday. And anyway, guys, thanks for watching. And until next time, I'll see you at the cafe.